says, I would like help with the science problem. Okay. Why is wind erosion more effective in deserts than in human regions? Okay, so um, I guess I'll just, I'm gonna talk a little bit about erosion. I'm actually not fully sure that that's true, that wind erosion is always gonna be more effective in dry climates versus humid climates, but there are reasons why in certain cases that might be true. So um, erosion is just the process of uh, rocks breaking down over time. Um, and erosion can happen from a few different ways. You can have physical erosion, where um, rocks rub up against each other and break down, or where um, ice forms and expands and cracks rocks. You can have chemical erosion, where you have um, maybe chemicals in rain mixing with rock and breaking it down that way. And you can have biological erosion, which occurs for a variety of different reasons. But for example, roots might work their way through rock and break that rock up as the roots extend through it. Um, so thinking about the question, uh, there are major differences between dry and humid regions um, in terms of erosion. So in dry regions, um, you might have rock that's more exposed than in humid regions. So in a humid region, likely the humidity is going to increase the amount of uh, plants that are in the area. So plants can, although, although plant roots can cause erosion, they can also cover rock and they can keep rock held together as their roots sort of entangle things. So it is possible that in a dry climate, if you have more exposure of the rocks, for that reason, you might have an increased amount of erosion. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of other reasons why this might be possible, but that's the main one that I can think of. Um, maybe just I'll mention another major difference between humid and dry regions, just to think about erosion. So um, two kinds of rocks that we often think about when we talk about erosion are limestone and sandstone. Because limestone and sandstone are, are kind of similar, they're both sedimentary rocks, but they also respond very differently to um, dry versus humid climates. So in a humid climate where there's a lot of rainfall, uh, water, as it falls through the air, is gonna absorb carbon dioxide. And the, the carbon dioxide that's absorbed by the water will make that water slightly acidic. Um, this is called carbonic acid when carbon dioxide mixes with water. It's the same kind of acid that kind of gives the bite to soda water. Um, and carbonic acid reacts with limestone. Limestone's chemical formula is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. And uh, when carbonic acid hits limestone, um, it can actually break apart that uh, calcium carbonate um, and erode it very quickly. So limestone in a humid region is gonna break down at a much faster rate than in a dry region where there isn't as much rain and there isn't as much opportunity for carbonic acid to come in touch with the rock. Um, sandstone is very much the opposite. Uh, sandstone in a humid region is not gonna be affected by this chemical erosion of carbonic acid. Uh, rain can fall on sandstone and, and there's not gonna be any kind of a portion of the sandstone that breaks down easily from that carbonic acid from the rain. But in drier regions, you can still have um, intense cold, and so you can still get enough water inside the cracks of rocks, um, and, and sandstone does tend to crack, and uh, the expansion of water as it gets colder and it becomes ice can cause uh, erosion of sandstone fairly easily. So in dry climates, uh, sandstone tends to weather more quickly than limestone, but in humid climates, limestone tends to weather more quickly than sandstone. But there are so many factors that can affect this, and to the person that sent in the question, um, I, hopefully I sort of answered why wind erosion might be more effective in deserts than in humid regions. Oh, and another maybe totally obvious answer is, since wind is gonna pick up dry sand particles in a desert area where there isn't as much plant matter holding the soil together, it's gonna carry that sand through the air, and the sand will kind of act, as it, as it moves through the wind, it'll kind of act like sandpaper, scraping whatever it comes into contact with, which could be other rocks. So that's, that's a reason why that could be the case. Um, hopefully that's helpful, uh, but there's sort of a lot to the question of what might cause more erosion in one area versus another. So hopefully that's helpful. More. Subscribe. Come on, push the button. You know yeah, you want, want to. to. <laughs> Do it.